we're going to go through here and show you these iFlight LEDs in the different colors and things. So I'm showing you the VTX here. And we're going to go into features. LED strip. And you can pick the different profiles. Race is the way that you can choose your own colors. Then there's beacon, which is like a flashy uh, it strobes and such and you can pick the color for that one too so race and that one you can pick the different colors on and then status is the one that you set with Betaflight so that's your color that you set with Betaflight or whatever program you use to set it so we'll go ahead and show you that one first status then we just go down here and push back and you can see that I have it set up with the white and the warnings to be flashed as green. So we're going to go back into LED strip and we'll start with race. And this is where you can choose your own color. So you just have this option here. And we'll go all the way to the beginning, which is black. And all this is, is it blacks it out. It turns them off. Now I should only have to do the save and reboot once. The rest of the time I should be able to go in here since we have it enabled now. So we'll go to LED strip again. Now we're gonna go to white. Go back, you can see the white. See how now I don't have to go all the way back and save and reboot anymore. Let's go to red. That's your red. Orange. Yellow. Lime green. That's a pretty green. Regular green. It's a little bit darker. Mint. Mint green. I don't know, it looks more bluish, doesn't it? I don't know if you're going to really see these. They might just show up white with a little hint of color around it. Scion. Scion's probably my favorite. It almost has that Iron Man. Um, it's the perfect color of Iron Man's arc reactor. It's light blue. Good color of blue. And we got regular blue. And we got violet, dark or dark violet. The dark violet and magenta, I think, are pretty close to each other. Here's magenta. Actually, I think magenta looks more purple than the dark violet. I kind of like them. If you're going to do purple, I would do magenta. I love this one, deep pink. This is my favorite one out of all of them. Well, besides Scion, I this is my second favorite one. And it's close to Scion. I just think it's beautiful. Beautiful color of pink. And I don't know why my LED here is getting all weird. But it's changing colors right here. I'm going to have to go check out the wiring on that and see why it's doing that. That's okay. And I think that's the last one. Yeah deep purple or deep pink that's the last one so that's all the colors now we're gonna go to beacon and you go down here and you have all these beacon options you can do armed only so it only does it when you're flying uh, and it's armed you can do your beacon percentage beacon, beacon period and your beacon color so we're just gonna pick a color let's go with uh, 
go into Scion and we'll go ahead and start it at all the regular these are the default settings so see that's what it does it blinks so before we go any further I gotta tell you <coughs> if you have epilepsy probably turn this video off <laughs> just for your own safety so what you can do is n knock this number down let's go all the way down to like 50 that's as low as it'll go see how fast that is I don't know if this will even pick it up because the way that a camera works uh, it only it it's basically taking lots of snapshots and turning it into a video so it depends on if it flashes within the snapshot I'm doing 60 frames per second this is 50 per second or 50 uh, blinks per second so I don't know there's gonna it's gonna be off a little bit on video so let's bump it up let's go to 150 go back let's see how that slows it down it's like one of my favorite things <laughs> Let's go all the way up to a thousand. I think that's about as high as it goes. No, it goes even higher than a thousand. So let's just go to a thousand. It's super slow. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to put it back to the default. Back to 500. And then we'll hit back. And then uh, you can do your percentage here. I haven't messed with this, so let's go up to 100%. That must be another way to speed it up. So since I've got my beacon at 100%, let's do 96% and see what that does. Oh, so it's not just like a quick flash. It's like... It's, it's another way to speed up and slow down the, the flash. You could really make it perfect however fast you want to just by fine tuning it here. You know? So let's go all the way down. Let's, let's go all the way down to 10% and see what that does. Oh, so it's like the opposite. And I don't know why my LEDs are messing up here. Uh, I don't know what that whole thing is. But you can see these ones. So it's like the opposite of the other, of uh, the, the beacon period. So the beacon period is like it's on and it's shutting it off, you know, faster or slower. This, it's like it's off and it's coming on faster or slower. Get what I'm saying? Like it's opposite. So I'm going to put that back up, go back to 50. Oh, I hear you, my controller's going dead. Let's put it back on race. Let's go to something that's not going to hurt your eyes. red. Let's see, that's it. It's that easy. So with these you can do everything from your controls right here. You can do this where uh, the beeper, when you hit the beeper, it flashes. You can turn it on or off. Uh, and then your visual color. This doesn't really do anything. I think it's because I have it set in beta flight and when it when I put it on um, because see I thought this visual will put it on we'll put it on green because I have it set on blue so we'll put it on well no let's put it on red no because it's got to change let's put it on yellow and then we'll go to status 
And see, it goes back to showing my original white. Oh yeah, I, I forgot I reset it to white. So that visual thing, I'm not exactly sure what that does, but I mean, you have so many different ways to set your LED strip that it, it's, it doesn't really matter. In fact, I like to just come out here on race when I'm flying, do a quick change to whatever color I want. And just save it. Yeah, I have a light that's jacking up here. I'm going to take this apart and kind of figure out what's up with that. But other than that, that's my little review. I already did a, a comparison between the three types of LEDs that I have. And I'll let you guys know more if it's just the LED strip going out or something. Because if it is the LED strip going out, then that means this went out pretty quick. Because I haven't had these on for very long. Um, and I think that's something that you need to know. And I'll leave it in the comments or something after this video. I'm going to do a little bit of work on it and kind of see what I can do. It might be my uh, cord. I did put these uh, straps on here. And they go right over the cords and so if it's if it's coming undone or something then that could be why it's doing this i don't I'm, i don't know 100 percent i'm not 100 percent sure or it could be because my core temperature is at 72 and it's just making everything go out of whack so i do need to unplug this and turn it off that is the iFlight These aren't, these aren't even hot. These are the iFlight WireGuard uh, ESC style. You know, they hook up to the motors, LEDs that, that you can change and stuff yourself. I think it's awesome. These are my favorite LEDs, my favorite. Merely because it gives you so much freedom to pick and choose what you want rather than be stuck with one color of LED. I love it. I just, I, I love it, so. I don't know, there's a link in the description if you guys want to go t go and get you guys some. Try them out, at least try them out. I like these, I like that you can do more with them. And I'd like to do more reviews on this style of LED. I'm gonna get some more, not just the iFlight ones, but I know that they make a few other brands that you can program. And I'm gonna try those out and kind of see which ones I like. But so far when it comes to LEDs, these are my favorite LEDs of all. My name is Bryce Michael RC. Make sure that you go and click on the link below. This video has been sponsored by Audible. And Audible is amazing. When I'm putting these things together, when I'm building them, when I'm soldering, when I'm and I tinker with these things constantly. I used to just sit back here and watch. I used to just sit back in my uh, fix-it room and watch Hulu and watch Disney Plus or something and really just enjoy a movie or a show. And now I've, I've come to really, really enjoy just listening to an audiobook or listen to a speech or a podcast or something like that and I don't have to search through YouTube for videos I don't have to search through Hulu I don't have to get upset when my favorite show ends and doesn't have any more episodes uh, I just love it audible is amazing and I suggest anybody out there go into the link below click on that link and I get a certain percentage of anybody who signs up for it so I appreciate it greatly for it and you'll appreciate it too as you get into Audible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Bryce Michael RC. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one.